For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he has not believed on the name the only begotten Son of God. The Bible says there is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. No other name under heaven but that name of Jesus Christ. And not as a cuss, but as a Savior, as God, the Son of God. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth upon them that reject Jesus Christ. You cannot have hope of heaven without Jesus Christ. Without Jesus Christ, you are hopeless. You are bound for a place called hell. Upon your rejection of the Son of God, who is God, Jesus Christ. There's only one name above all names to have access to the Father. And that name Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. There is no religious name, there is no scientific name for you to be approved by God except the name of Jesus Christ. Salvation, going to heaven, is on the merit of the gospel of Jesus Christ that Jesus suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Salvation, going to heaven, is by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. You cannot say, I'm going to heaven and I don't believe Jesus. You cannot say, I'm going to heaven and have no faith of your heart, Jesus. It is a Jesus that's to be taken by faith and not orally. No, there's no poor guy. I'm riches of heaven by Jesus Christ. You're the poor without Jesus. You're the one without hope. You're the one without name in hell for disregarding the finished work of Jesus Christ. Salvation, going to heaven, is by the finished work of Jesus Christ upon Calvary's hill. Jesus Christ, no other but God manifest in the flesh, God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. What shall do it? Do it quickly, for now is the day of salvation. We're not guaranteed this afternoon. We're not even guaranteed we're going to finish the morning. But salvation is wrought by Jesus Christ, and only Jesus Christ. A name that's a pronounced upon my lips. The name, the righteous name, the blessed hope. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ as Lord God and Savior, not Jesus Christ as a curse. It begins with Jesus. But the Bible says, Paul writes, that there's another Jesus. So I have to finish with Jesus Christ the Christ of God that Peter said. Jesus Christ, Jesus of God, Jesus who is God, manifested, suffered, and died, and bled that we may have eternal life. And not only did he bleed, but according to Acts 20:28, 20, that blood that Jesus Christ gave on that cross 
is God's blood. Behold the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. There is no other cleansing agent but that of Jesus and Jesus alone. Surely goodness and mercy to all those that have put their faith and their trust with their heart upon the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Whosoever is everyone that can hear this loud mouth, if you can hear me proclaim Jesus, the Savior, the hope of mankind, you are the whosoever that needs, that must be born again, that needs to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, get to heaven. Your religion can't do it. You may find your religion in falsehood. The liar, the John 8, 44, the liar and the father of lies is religion. There are many ways of works of religion, but there's only one way to God. And Jesus said, I am the way. He didn't say, I am a way. Proclaim by Philip, thou art God. God in the flesh. Your Jesus Christ must be God. Thomas, my Lord, my God, your Jesus must be God. He can't be a religious God. He can't be a, a snack God. I'll eat a little Jesus and God will be pleased with me. God is not pleased with cannibalism. When you eat humans and you drink the blood of humans, it is called cannibalism. It comes from the excess of the jungles of Africa. It's a religion. It can't save you. That church is based upon Alexandria. It's a verse upon the Latin. It's not upon the Bible of Jesus Christ. Salvation can only be wrought by God. And God has proclaimed himself through only one person. And that person, Jesus Christ. No other. There's no other hope. There's no other Savior. There's no other way but that way of Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Greatest name I know. It's a name that's above Donald Trump. It's a name that Hillary Clinton cannot match. Or any of your political candidates that are now in office. There is a name that has access to God and that name is Jesus Christ. Only Jesus Christ. Rest assured of you to put your faith in another name. That's not the name of holiness. That name will get you rejected from God. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. It's plain and simple. It's the same gospel of the gospels of all gospels. And Paul says there's another gospel. But the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. You want to get to heaven? You go to heaven by Jesus Christ. You don't go to heaven by good works. There's no menu board in heaven. How much money you get, God doesn't care about your money. What church I belong to, God doesn't care what church you go to. God doesn't care what Bible you read. He believes when it comes to salvation by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. No blood of Jesus, no entrance. Rejection. Rejecting Jesus Christ will get you rejected. How can you have fellowship? How can you be right with God when you have rejected God manifesting in the flesh, Jesus Christ? If I keep on mentioning Jesus Christ and mention Jesus Christ, baby, put it to your heart, Jesus Christ. 
But too many of you have got a Jesus Christ that's not God approved. How dare you use the name of God in vain? And yet the scriptures say there is no other holy name. There's no other name under heaven given amongst men whereby you must be saved. And that's the name that man uses to cuss. The name of cussing and cursing is the same name that can save your soul. If you have not put faith in Jesus Christ, you are in hell already. Your body hasn't met with you. Shall we look at the scriptures? Lord forbid if we're going to talk about Jesus and not open the Bible. How dare I keep the Bible closed about Jesus? He that believeth on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already. If you have not put your faith in Jesus, you are condemned by God. There is no love of God by rejecting Jesus Christ. You will die and go straight to hell. I don't care what your preacher says. I don't care what your preacher says. Bible says without Jesus, there's no hope. There's no hope in the Pope but Jesus Christ. There's no hope in religion but Jesus Christ. There's no hope in anything and anyone but Jesus Christ. Don't tell me your troubles. Tell your problems. Tell it to Jesus. And when you reject Jesus and you hear him say those words, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. But Lord, Mary, why don't you listen to what Mary said? Whatever my son said to do, do it. Jesus said, believe on him. Never did he say, literally, cut open my body and drink my blood. That was an example. It was an illustration. It is not to be taken literal. But Satan would have you to be. You're coming on a time, Lord, willing. If the Lord delays his call, we don't know. But we're coming on a time of the great tribulation period, and you will drink real blood. And you'll be damned. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ now, and if you were to put your faith and trust in Him, the rapture will take you from the worries of the tribulation. Oh, the mark, the mark, 666. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you don't need to worry about the mark. Because you won't be here when the mark comes. Whether it comes today or tomorrow. If you're to put your faith on Jesus Christ, that mark will have nothing to do for you. Because you'll be home with Jesus. The Bible speaks about death. The wages of sin is death. We're all going to die because we're sinners. And with a side note that God says, the gift of eternal life is Jesus Christ our Lord. Oh, death. Oh, death. I don't want to die. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Be absent from the body and present with the Lord. You don't need to fear death. You will face death. You will become part of death. And with your faith and belief on Jesus Christ, you'll depart this world and be with the Father by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Salvation by God is Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ suffered and died and buried and arose again the third day, all according to the Scriptures. 
I can find ten practices of any of your church and any of your religions that are against the scriptures. There's a reservation book that will get you to heaven. It is called the Lamb's Book of Life. And only if your name is in that Lamb's Book of Life will you have access to God the Father. And that, to get your name in the Lamb's Book of Life, you need the Lamb of God, which takes away the sin of the world. Nothing else can remove sin. Nothing else can take care of your sin but that of Jesus Christ. And only of Jesus Christ. Salvation, heaven, by Jesus Christ. It's a one simple step plan. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Simple. Any idiot can do it. Any fool can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and get wisdom. It is the fool that has said in his heart, there is no God. Surely goodness and mercy does not follow the God rejecter. Heaven is not for those that reject Jesus. When you reject Jesus, you are rejecting God, capital G. When you are in a form of religion that is small g, old d, and maybe some s is added to it. They are not approved by God. Religion is man-made. Jesus Christ is God approved. Don't go to hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Well, saved from what? It's funny how some Christians are going to hate the word I'm going to say next. They will hate the preaching of hell. And yet they love the preaching of the cross. But you can't have the cross unless you have hell. Because if you have the cross only, you would get the intention that all people are saved, all are going to heaven, and that is a lie. All is not well. There is a hell. And that loving God will cast you into it. And you will burn. And you will burn. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. And with the belief of Jesus Christ, peace, joy, wonderful, long-suffering comes into your life through the Holy Spirit. You get great joy serving Jesus Christ. You get anger and attitude serving religion and Satan. Satan has no love. Satan has no care. But Jesus Christ, that of God, the love of God, that Jesus Christ sent His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. It's plain and simple. It's plain and simple. Salvation rests upon Jesus. And only Jesus. There is no other hope but that that which is Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved forever. And that's it. That's it. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Oh, I'm going to heaven because I'm a Baptist. A lie! Baptists don't go to heaven. Born again 
Bible-believing Christians go to heaven. There's no Catholic or Protestant offices in heaven. There is the office of those who have been washed, those who have been cleaned by the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. That is your salvation. That is your hope. And that's the only way you have. No faith in Jesus. No acceptance by God. You come to God with whatever you want to come to God. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. I never knew you. God doesn't approve of what you approve of. God is holy. God says, be ye holy. You cannot be holy if you are a sinner, for all have sinned. All have come short of the glory of, the, of God. There is none righteous, no, not one. So you cannot be holy. You're holy baloney. And baloney is unclean, and it does not appear before God in heaven. You've got to be lamb. And the only way you can be lamb is you're to believe on the lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. No uncleanness will come before God. And without Jesus Christ, you are unclean. You are unwashed. Come now. Let us, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. To become clean of your sins is to be washed by the blood of God. Acts 20, 28. And that blood was shed upon the cross. To be specific, the cross of Calvary. To be more specific, a cross that had a thief on the left and on the right. To be more specific, a cross that carried God by nails. To be more specific, God that today is still bearing those wounds in his hands, in his feet, and his side. He's off the cross. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. And yet some of you carry about around your neck, between your breast, you carry an idol that has nothing to do with the Bible. I'll tell you what's wrong with your crucifix. Cruc Jesus is no longer nailed to the cross. That's not the salvation of God. That's a one-third of the three-part plan of salvation. Jesus Christ died and suffered on that cross, according to the Scripture. It was buried and arose again the third day, according to the Scriptures. If I were to paint any picture of my salvation, I would paint a picture of the empty tomb without the Easter Bunny. I would paint a picture of a man that I never met seated at the right hand of God who I've never met. Faith, the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And yet I know these things I have written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. And that eternal life is in the finished work of Jesus Christ. And that finished work is approved by God. And to be approved by God is put your faith and trust in God. Yeah, you may believe in God, but the Bible says, so do, the, so do the devils and tremble. 
You don't tremble. You're not at God right now saying, what may I do to be saved? What may I do to have your honor? You go about your business. You lavish in vanity fair. And you talk of a talkative one. And yet you never get across the river. You will wake up in hell and the impression I get from the Bible, Luke 16, oh, I forever want a little drop of water. You are standing by a little course of a river here, surrounded by a big river. You won't even have the sweat of water on your brow. The place where they place the thorns upon Jesus. You will wish you had that little sweat that bothered and went into your eye. And irritated your eye. And in hell you say, oh, if I could have that little bit of water again. Come on, Satan. Give your people some water. God gave us life, Jesus. Jesus said hell was made for Satan and his angels. You think he provides you a little comfort? It won't be any alcohol. Because in flames, alcohol goes poof. That's why they call it proof. It's in hell when it hits the flames, it goes poof, it's gone. And the only shock you will get will be the shock of pain that never goes away, followed by another shock of pain, with another shock of pain, and pain, and pain, and suffering, because you will not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. It's that simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Your name in the Lamb's book of life forever to be with God. Who Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And if Jesus said no man, then it means no other man. So whoever you are believing on, if it's not Jesus Christ, you're not approved by God. You are not accepted by God. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Why would God give Himself if you did not need Him? Why would there be a story of Jesus if he was not needed? And we don't have the story of Jesus so retailers can make a fortune at the end of the year. And in January, when you get your bills, you go more and more into the dead. That's not what the reason of Jesus. The reason of Jesus is not chocolate bunnies. There is no Santa Claus. The Savior, the gift giver, the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. It's God manifested in the flesh, Jesus Christ. And you have sinned against Jesus when you put your prayers to Santa. Santa can't give you eternal life. Buddha can't do nothing for you. Cross your legs, it just gives you more pain for hell. Only Jesus saves. And Jesus alone. You want the love of God, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. It's that simple. America has forgotten God. 
America doesn't care about God. So don't ask God to bless America when you forget Thanksgiving. Proclamation from the President of the United States. Thanksgiving will be given thanks to God. Not Black Friday. This nation is not going to be blessed by a God that rejects him in the courtroom. Says no to his Bible in the school. God will condemn this country with Bible preachers will stand on the sidewalk and preach the gospel that Jesus saves. And, oh, Republicans, oh, Democrats, oh, White House, oh, trash! In the eyes of God, New Jerusalem, by the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. The only thing the government's good to take away is your wallet. And God don't ask for your money. He asks for your heart. He asks for your belief upon Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Aren't you so glad that God has sent a loudmouth preacher to preach to you the hope, the hope in Jesus Christ? Go in all the world and preach the gospel. That's a Bible command. That only Jesus should be preached. It's not how a guy can hit a ball, who cares? It's not how a guy can throw a ball, what will we do in heaven? I'll get to heaven. Oh, I threw... I batted a ball, I kicked the ball. That has no honor and love of God. The honor and love of God is the Lord Jesus Christ, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. For you, whosoever, whosoever believes on Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And that life is in Jesus, and in Jesus alone. Don't come to God with religion. Depart from me that work of iniquity. I never knew you. That's God. Imagine God telling you to go to hell, and he will. Because you will not adhere to the preaching of the gospel. That Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures, and was buried, and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Suffering and torments will be welcome to you that reject Jesus. And you need not so. It'd be so great if you were to put your faith in Jesus, the genuine, rather than faith in the intimidator, the imitation, who can't do it himself but needs faith on Jesus who goes about Satan's ways and not the ways of Jesus Christ. There is no hope outside of Jesus Christ where the Bible says the blessed hope of the glorious appearing. Jehovah Witnesses, listen, of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Notice the hand in there. That end is just as like, here's Mr. and Mrs., and they're one. God and the Savior Jesus Christ are one. Like marriage. I'm the Mr., she's the Mrs., together we're one. Unless you're in a religion that rejects God. How can you be safe when someone tells you what God said and changes it? There's no change in the gospel. Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. You put your faith and trust in that. Let me go to the Bible again. I've been through the Bible all day, but let's read. 
I would hate you to think I'm lying to you like Sunday morning preachers of Daytona Beach, Florida, EIA. There are preachers in Daytona Beach who will lie to you. That's in the Bible too, 1 Corinthians. Marvel not. Satan has transformed himself into an angel of light. No marvel if his ministers. Romans chapter 10, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus. I'm doing that right now. I'm not preaching. I'm testifying. I'm a born-again, Bible-believing Christian, EIA. I'm saved and I love it. I want to proclaim it. And shall believe in thy heart that God has raised them from the dead. Well, you can't have a God raised from the dead if he's nailed between your breasts. That's not resurrection. You can't have a resurrection with a Jesus nailed to a cross. How on earth did he come out of the tomb and jump back on the cross? Ask your priest. Ask your pastor. Pastor, priest, what's he doing back on that cross? Imagine Jesus walking up a room. Excuse me, guys, but the cross, it's in the way. It's foolish. When they saw Jesus, the 450 and more people, they didn't see Jesus on the cross. They saw that Jesus that had the marks of the nails and the spear. And there is no other. You go about Satan's music and you got God's preaching. You have a choice. You can choose the ways of Satan or you can choose the ways of God. Salvation is only wrought by God. Week after week after week we bring the same thing that Jesus saves. This guy's got to bring different music. He can't bring the same music over and over and over. He wouldn't make a paycheck. Satan in the world's got to have a change. But we have not changed the name of Jesus and the gospel that Jesus suffered and died according to the scriptures. And was buried and arose again the third day. That hasn't changed. This message comes free. That comes out of your budget. Think about what wonderful things you can do with the money for the farmer's market if you got rid of Satan. Think about the blessings if you were to turn to Jesus. And yet salvation by Jesus is not a promise of flourishing, of wonderful and greatness. The Bible says all they that live godly shall suffer persecution. Believing on Jesus will not get rid of your cancer. It may. Believing on Jesus may not fix your marriage. It might make it worse. But believing on Jesus Christ will change your destination in the eternity. Salvation of Jesus Christ will get you out of hell and into heaven. God has left a free will. You can do whatever you want. But Jesus said you must be born again. But it's a free will. God says, in order to get to him, you must be born again. And yet the Bible says, whosoever believeth. The sorry fact is, not everybody goes to heaven. The sorry fact is, the Bible says, many will go to Broadway. I stand here with eyes and see many 
that are going to Broadway that lead us to destruction. And there may be few that go through the straight gate that lead it to life. If you think you're good enough to get to heaven, you are eternally wrong. If you think God is pleased with you, you are deadly mistaken. If God is so happy with what you are doing, and to hear God say, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, I never knew you. Eternity is coming. You will die. The wages of sin is death. Where you go after you die decides on what you do with Jesus before you die. If you reject Jesus, God will reject you and cast you off into hell. And hell is forever. If you're to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, thou shalt be saved. The salvation of Jesus Christ. The love of God that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God's grace, God's love is Jesus. And Jesus alone is able to save you. There's no other way. There is no other truth. And as far as the light, John says, He that has the Son, capital F, has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. And when God says he is the way, don't dare come to God with another way and think he's going to approve. God is not going to break down heaven because of what you believe. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There is no belief on anything else. There is no other eternal life and then that of Jesus Christ. To have God please. The pleasing of God has been in through Jesus. God is pleased with Jesus. In Isaiah 53, verse 10, and it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He has put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, you cannot please God 
outside of Jesus Christ. John says if you do not have the Son, you get the wrath of God that had already been put upon Jesus Christ on the cross. That'd be like me going to the store and buying your groceries. And you still pay for the groceries. That's foolish. Christ Jesus has paid for your salvation. You must believe, you must receive, and you must repent. And put your heart, faith, in Jesus. It's that simple. And when you hear a loud mouth preacher preach the gospel that Jesus only saves, and you will stand before God, I didn't know. God say, hey, I sent you that preacher. He has a Bible. He's been quoting from the Bible. He has told you the way of the Bible. He has told you what, what I approve of only. And yet you decide to go about your own way. Now depart from me, you that work in iniquity. I never knew you. Beyond the fact is, I sent the preacher. And just because your, your preacher is so pantyways, he can't preach the truth, God says, I'll send a biblical preacher. God has to send a preacher out in the streets because they're not doing it in the church. Shall we go to Revelation 3 or shall we? I'm enjoying this. I gave you guys two weeks off. I may make it up right now. Revelation 3. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. When you hear the loud mouth preacher, God is knocking. God has invitation. Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Heaven is obtained only by Jesus Christ. Nothing else will get you to God. I could spend six hours here and just preach Jesus. I can say for an hour the name of Jesus Christ. There's nothing else. God don't care what you think. God doesn't care what you do. Because He has seen it all through the finished work of Jesus. You are not above Jesus. Though you may think you are. You may think you're more important than Jesus. But then to those words Jesus will say, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. The only way to be known by God is to be known by the one that said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's right. It's in your hearts. You've heard it right through the years. But will you believe on that? Will you put your faith and trust upon God and not man? Oh, the man Christ Jesus is more than man. He is God manifested in the flesh. Wow. I've been going for an hour and he stopped already. There's nothing but the Word of God. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my Word shall never pass away. There it is. Heaven and earth will pass away, but here will be the Word of God. Everything of this life, everything of this world, 
will be gone. And the Bible says, old things will pass away, behold, new things. A new heaven, a new earth, a new Jerusalem. And if you don't want my Jesus, that's perfectly fine. That is your opinion. That is your belief. That is your option. If you don't want Jesus, but then God doesn't want you. And I don't want you in my heaven if you don't want Jesus. I will be glad if God rejects you because you rejected Jesus. Because in, whole, in heaven there's holiness. And that holiness has been in Jesus. And Jesus alone. And when we all get to heaven, those who are washed by the blood of God, Jesus Christ, will forever worship and love the one that suffered and died for us. Now, if you don't want that, you don't want God, you believe in anything you want to believe but Jesus. And ask Satan for a little drop of water. The rich man tried Lazarus, I mean tried Abraham. Abraham said, nope, can't do it. Let's see how merciful your God will be. When you are thirsty for a little drop of water. Forever and ever. You will be thirsting in torments. And yet you've had the water of life preached to you. He that drinks of this fountain shall never thirst again. Boy, that's not a surety of not going to hell. What is there? You can want water, and you can get water by the water of life. But the water of life is life. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. You really want to know Jesus saves? Sing about Jesus. For love, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. It's all that simple. You can have an invitation, or you can have the real thing. God is not pleased with wickedness and sin. And when the Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's simple.